So, I have a bottle of kimchi. Kimchi is Korean, right? So, what does that have to do with my topic? Well, Japan invaded Korea. During the occupation, Japan took over Korea's labor and land. Nearly 725,000 Korea workers were made to work in Japan and its other colonies. Japan forced hundreds of thousands of Korean women into life as comfort women, uh, which were sexual slaves who served in military brothels. But Korea was not enough for the Japanese. Uh, eventually, they sought Manchuria, and so they invaded Manchuria. And after they had taken over Korea, they eventually went on to invade southern Manchuria, which led on to completely conquering the country of Manchuria. But Korea, Manchuria, that wasn't enough, let's say. Uh, so they then sought their sights on something bigger, uh, the whole of China. China, China was in its own civil war, right? Uh, so in the midst of that, Japan comes over and it wants to, hey, I want China. And so both sides were like, no. And so they combined their forces, yes. And they did their best and they, they got to fighting. Now, the second Sino-Japanese War is often referred to as the Eight-Year War. This began with the infamous Marco Polo Bridge Incident of July 1937 and ended with Japan's surrender in September 1945. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we are. Now, during the war, while Japan was making progress and taking many cities, uh, it was rather like, there, there was a stalemate, yes, and this really stretched out and thinned the Japanese military. And while all this is happening, all the way up in the northern side of Manchuria, the Japanese troops up there, they're having troubles of their own against the Red Army, who are fighting them. Uh, three days after the bombing of Hiroshima, the Red Army advanced and invaded Manchuria. Bit weird how I got this, like, news reporter voice going on. Now, on Manchuria's boat, but border, yeah. The Nomahan Incident, otherwise known as the Battles of Kalk and Gaul, the Nomahan Incident was the decisive engagements of the undeclared Soviet-Japanese border. This was fought amongst the uh, Soviet Union, Japan, Mongolia, and Manchukuo in 1939. The Red Army won. Spoiler alert. Uh, this led to the signature of the Non-Aggression Pact signed between the Soviet Union and Japan. Uh, forgive me, we're just gonna jump around a bit here for a second. The Tripartite Pact. This is this is quite uh, it's quite something. So on September 27th, 1940, the Axis powers were formed. This was Germany, Italy, and Japan. Uh, they became allies in Berlin, right? They provided mutual assistance should any of the signatories suffer an attack from any nation not already involved in the war. And uh, this granted Japan over lordship over uh, greater East Asia. So why did Japan join the Axis powers? Well, there's quite a few reasons. One, they wanted protection from any foreign intervention in their already impending war with China. They also wanted to uh, secure resources. Uh, they wanted a coalition opposed to the uh, Anglo-American hegemony, 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 that's a word. Uh, also, they were concerned that Germany, Germany was actually their biggest threat because they, they believed Germany was going to win the war, and at the time, it looked like that. The Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere, also known as GX. Right. Uh, the Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere was Japan's new order. It amounted to a self-contained empire from Manchuria to the Dutch East Indies. 
uh, including China, Indochina, Thailand, and uh, Malaya, right, as satellite states, right. Uh, in the short term, they sought to win the war, and in the long term, they hoped to modernize the region to a more Japanese model, right. And in 1941, it increasingly appeared to be a cover, right? A cover for brutal imperialism and exclusionist trade process. It failed because of Japan's inability to cooperate, to promote true mutual prosperity within the alliance. That being the uh, tripartite pact, I believe. When it comes to war atrocities, there is quite there. There's a lot of talk about with Germany, the Holocaust. There's a lot, but something uh, very comparable to that. Not that's not good. But you can definitely compare Germany to Japan because Japan was just as bad, if not worse, than Germany. There's a number of things like uh, Unit Seven Three One. Unit 731 was known officially as the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department of the Kwantung Army. Very professional. Uh, they experimented on prisoners of war and civilians they kidnapped. Uh, they then began to experiment on the human body by analyzing disease, effects of extreme cold, hypothermia, uh, loss of organs. They literally cut it out of you while you were still alive. Uh, as well as attempting to create a pathogen, yes, uh, to wage biological warfare against the United States using fleas. They were just gonna, they were gonna fly over America, drop these fleas, and we're all dead. Well, not dead. They wanted us weak. But there's a lot of death. Also, over in China, there was you know, all the invasions, taking cities one by one. And one of these cities was Nanking. And this invasion was later known as the Rape of Nanking. Uh, Japan, uh, basically, they butchered 150,000 male prisoners of war and killed an extra 50,000, you know, just making an even 200,000. And uh, raped at least 20,000 women and girls of all ages and killed many of them. Rape of Nanking. And we're, we're not done yet. Yeah, we're not done yet. Uh, the Sonicon Death March, right? Uh, 2,700 British and Australian troops were forced to march throughout the jungles of Borneo, only to be executed once they actually got to where they were marching. Only one survived. Alright, so the results of the war, right? Uh, after Japan's burning ambition and seeking to conquer Greater East Asia, right? So, about 6.3 million men served in the Japanese military, army, navy, all that good stuff. Uh, 1.3 million of them died. Yeah. Uh, they lost all territory acquired after 1894, which means everything they've done in the past 50 years means nothing. Uh, also, their economy was just, it was, it was, it was devastated. They, they were just not in a good place. All right, that's it. I'm done. You can wake up now. I'm going to go eat some kimchi.